Hyperscale Racing. Today we're going to be talking about the adjustable timing feature that is on the Tomy Super G Plus cars, the BSRT G cars, and also the Viper V1 cars. So we have our Viper V-Spec um, car here and we're going to be talking about the timing adjustment on the in-bell and also the effects that it has on the car. So right now the in-bell is in neutral timing which your your ears the of the in bell everything is kind of it's parallel to the chassis and um, that's kind of a neutral setting um, it's not going to be you know the highest rpm setting or the highest torque setting and it's kind of a good all-around setting typically racers are going to always have it in full advance which i always call driver side down so um, the you know if you're in Europe it's obviously going to be the opposite but here in America I call it driver side down and to adjust that you you just apply pressure to the top and bottom simultaneously and you can rotate that in bell so now we are in the passenger side down which um, is retarding the timing and when you retard the timing it really flattens the the torque curve or the RPM curve of the motor. Um, it makes more torque. It's not as pipey. And, um, uh, you know, a lot of times if a car is de slotting and um, you don't want to do a tire change, or if it's de slotting in S sections, you can just, you know, take timing out of it and it might just be enough to allow the car to go through there and your lap times will get better and it'll also be um, better for racing. Um, in, a, in the advanced setting, it's going to be the most aggressive, most RPM. Um, it's, it's really going to be the highest output. And that's typically where, you know, as a racer, that's where we run them. But it is really easy to just adjust that, you know, to um, change the way the car behaves on the track. So um, you just want to be careful that you don't go too far and have... I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but I've, I've over rotated it and now I'm getting close to flush with the bottom of the car. You don't want that to be sticking out the bottom to where it's hitting the rail because that will unload the car and um, it'll slow you down and it could even make you come off the track because it's going to unload the car. So um, this, that, that's the same process on all of the three cars mentioned. Um, it's a really quick, easy tuning feature and uh, it, it can make a big difference on how the car handles, how it races, and you know, sometimes you might l have a slower lap time, but if the car is more comfortable, it's going to be a better race car. And um, you definitely want to go with that route because whoever has the most laps wins not who has the fastest laps so that's pretty much it thank you